Hey you guys, so let's finish off 8b, right? So we're going to look at this last question. Now, this last question looks very tricky, right? Because you like are proving that all these different sides like multiplied and divide by each other equal each other. But let's go back and see what we actually have in our diagram. We've just proved we've just proved similarity, right? So we've proved similarity, right? So we know that triangle GON is similar to triangle GHE. Okay, so if we did, let's maybe do something with like G, G, if we do G, E, let's do G, E, all right, if we say G, E, I'm just getting G, E at the top, so G, E over G, N, right, based on similarity, G, E over G, N equals um, H, E over O, N. Right, so I'm just doing some different things here because I'm trying to get like an O N in there. So I got a I got this G E over G N, okay, and then I got I wanted to get an O N, right? So I got the O in there, but now I have this H E and there's no H E in there, but that's okay, right? So this is just because of similar triangles, okay? So it's it's somewhere to start, somewhere to start, right? So we've got some of the things we want, not all of the things we want. That's okay. Okay, let's now go look at what else we have. So I'm just going to ignore what we've done already. But I want to look at this triangle here. And the reason I want to look at that triangle is because we know that some of our other inputs that we need, like EP and BC and HB, right, they sit in this triangle, right? And what do we know about that triangle? Well, the proportionality theorem comes into play because these two lines are parallel, right? Which means there's proportionality there, right? So because there's proportionality, right? We can start saying some things about what's in here, right? So we know that HE over EP is going to be the same as HB over BC because of proportionality, right? So let's write that out and see whether we can do a little bit of manipulation to see whether we can get to our end point of this, okay? HB over BC. So I've literally just used my proportionality theorem. So you can just say proportionality theorem. Okay. Right. So that's what we have. Okay. So now let's see if we've got all the inputs that we want. We've got ON. We've got GE. We've got GN. Okay. Then we have HB, H, I mean BC, and we have EP. So here we have two HEs, right? But we don't want any HEs, right? In our final answer. So here, let's put this in the form that HE equals something, sub it back into there, right? And then we can actually get what we want, okay? So I'm going to say HE equals HB times EP, right? Over BC, Okay, that's very handy. That looks exactly like what we need over there, right? So now we have, okay, we have GE over GN equals HB times EP over BC, all divided by ON. But let's get rid of that ON. It's bothering me, right? Let's, let's get rid of it. Let's bring it to the other side. So then we get ON times GE over GN equals HB times EP over BC. Okay, and that is our answer, okay? So it's very important, right, to remember with these questions is there's this level of scaffolding, right? We used what we had in our previous question to use the similar triangles, right? And I said, okay, what what is what is here in this tri in this um thing that they've asked us, in this equation they've asked us to prove that I can get from similarity? I said, okay, GE over GN equals HE over ON, right? So now we had three of the inputs that we wanted, but now we had this HE. Then I said, what else can we see from the diagram? And then I said, oh, proportionality. And then I wrote out the proportionality in its basic form. Then I just manipulated it algebraically and I got to the answer. Okay, so this is a difficult question, guys, because sometimes it is difficult to know where to start. But it's always important to start with what you've proved. Okay, start with what you proved in previous questions and that will really help you. 
Okay, so that's the end of this question. Was really tricky, right? Um, I hope it was helpful. Um, sometimes geometry can be a solid time, but I'm trying to make it as easy as possible to understand. I hope it was helpful. Let's move on to question nine.